post-apocalyptic lessons. A hacker from Germany posted information supposedly from the Vatican servers about an antediluvian civilization. About a month ago, Ralph Bestet, a hacker from Germany, announced that he had hacked into the Vatican servers with secret information about previous civilizations and posted a part of the text allegedly dedicated to ancient mankind. The post hung on the internet for only three, night, uh, three days, after which Ralph Bestet deleted his account. This news sparked controversy among users. Some believed in the content, others denied it. 25 to 30,000 years ago, there was a state with a high level of development, even exceeding our current one. However, despite the outstanding progress, the inhabitants were subjected to vices, greed, pride, cruelty. The geneticists of this civilization created people for physical work, endowing them with strength. Several centuries passed and the slaves were considered too stupid. Then the so-called evolutionary genes were laid in their genomes, allowing them to develop to a higher intellectual degree. And thanks to this, people were able to solve complex problems and perform a much wider range of responsibilities. Along with this, the slaves had thoughts of getting out of subordination. An uprising was being prepared, but it was crushed and most of the people were expelled from the cities, and in the Bible these events are described as the expulsion from paradise. Nevertheless, the system of relations between masters and slaves operated for about six to 8,000 years, after which a large-scale war began between the representatives of the mysterious civilizations. Various types of weapons were used, including climactic photon, temporal, annihilation, and others, the, cat the catastrophe covered almost the entire earth. The survivors were about 10 to 15 percent of the slaves and a few dozen masters. And when realizing that their civilization had collapsed, people were given some knowledge in the field of astronomy, astrology, metallurgy, mathematics, alchemy, and others. Myths about the coming of the gods and the formation of culture and civilization among people have been preserved and it happened about 12 to 15,000 years ago. A few centuries later, people realized that the gods, quote unquote, were punishing them to new uh, civil strife and wars. And as a result, the last representatives of the highly developed civilization were uh, done away with by their courtiers. The age of development has come and all over the world, people began to form cities and communities and finally became rulers of the earth. The first 100 generations of the people remembered the Great War and the consequences, and therefore they tried to build and not destroy. Small conflicts ended through a collegial decision. The flourishing of human civilization has come out, but the, end old, uh, the uh, old began to be forgotten while the newest generations had huge ambitions. People started fighting again. Moreover, sometimes the most absurd things became the reasons for wars the refusal of the ruler's daughter to marry the son of another, or the disease of cattle and grain were attributed to the machinations of neighbors. Humanity was again on the verge of a full-scale war, but religions and confessions appeared, and this made it possible to become more humble to, and to uh, abandon hostilities. However, not for long, as is known from relatively recent history, it was religions that caused major battles at the dawn of the era, and at this point, the story was interrupted. In general, and too many of us, we are not the first humanity on this planet. There were other advanced civilizations as well. So we, don't, we would not be surprised if everything described above, above is indeed a true story. And by the way, which is significant, it repeats itself. People are fighting again, preferring to resolve issues with weapons. Several thousand years will pass and the world's elite will make a leap in genetics creating the first slave clones, and then the Euroboros circle of transmutation will repeat all over again. Some historians believe in the cyclical nature of history and that mankind has three ways of civilization development. First, the military, the road to nowhere. Apparently, we are going towards this direction, unfortunately. Second, the development of the space industry 
and as soon as possible the settlement of other planets and satellites. In this case, humanity will have a small chance of continuing to exist regardless of events on Earth. And the third way, the way of unity and goodness, if people give up all weapons and main value of life and health of each of us, regardless of ethnicity, worldwide, worldview and religion, then perhaps humanity will live much longer than, say, in the first case scenario. At the same time, interlocutors, including a clear time frame giving humanity a life expectancy of 12, uh, 15 to 20,000 years, so perhaps it's not too late to change the vector of development so that it does work out, not as with previous civilizations. Our common home is like a beehive or anyone think of a dunghill for past and present and possibly future species or generations. And those who were born, developed here, left their habitat, conquered and the boundless expanses of space, protect future generations, giving them the opportunity to rise. Perhaps that's why we still exist and we are not in the Stone Age in the radiation blizzard of nuclear winter. And this is on Collective Spark by Solask. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.